Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run cross-sectional dependence that is a second generation unit root test in EVOS. But first of all, we will try to understand why it is necessary to run second generation unit root test. Panel data models are likely to exhibit substantial cross-sectional dependence in the errors, which may arise because of the presence of common shocks and unobserved com components that ultimately become the part of the error term. One reason for this result may be that during the last few decades, we have experienced an ever-increasing economy and financial integration of the countries and financial entities, which implies that a so strong independencies between cross-sectional units is just an assumption. In microeconomic applications, the propensity of individuals to respond similarly to common socks or common unabsorbed factors may be plausibly explained by social norms neighborhood effects, herd behavior, and genuinely interdependent preferences. For example, if there is a fall in the if there is a fall in the United Stock Exchange, definitely this, this fall is uh, experienced by major majority of the countries. If your cross-section units are interconnected politically, socially, economically, or culturally, there are very high chances that this cross-section units that is, countries are having cross-section dependence. In short, when cross-sections are dependent on one another, the first generation of unit root test fails and it is necessary to deploy the second generation of unit te root test. Now, how we can conduct this test? Let us see. For this, I'll go in eViews. There are cross-section units. Six cross-section units are there. Export, GDP and money is there. That is a variable which we are considering. Now, I will run a normal regression, open as equation. Click OK. Now, we want to see that is there any presence of cross-section dependency or not. So, after running this normal regression, I will go in view, residual diagnostics, cross-section dependence test. The null hypothesis of this test is no cross-section dependence in residuals okay and you have to interpret from the p-value so here as the p-value of all this test basically three tests will run rose pagan lm test pashran scaled lm test and pashran cd test all this test are having the same null hypothesis so here, the p-value of all this test is more than 0 0.05, which means that we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that there is no cross-section dependence in residuals. There can be a scenario when one of the tests or two tests are rejecting the null and one of them is, uh, one of them fails to reject null. In that scenario, what we should do? So, there are three tests and we will go with the popularity approach. So out of three, if two tests confirms that we are rejecting null, we will go with rejecting null. If out of three, if two tests confirms that we fail to reject null, then we will go with the fail to reject. So we will go with the popularity approach. Here, all of them are confirming that there is no cross-section dependence. So for more videos on panel data regression using eViews, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos which are related to the panel data regression. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.